How's it going today, guys? This is Gamer Live for Four Gamers HQ, and I am proud to present to you guys finally, after the delays, after the patient waiting, after playing Persona 4 all over again, finally, Atlas has released my baby, Persona 5, and all her sweet glory. And now we're going to open it up. We're going to get to look at all these sweet goodies that we see down here. Not to mention, too, let me zoom in real close to you. This is an M rated plus 17. Now, the reason why I point this out is that, granted, I think all the other Persona games have been given that rating before, but so far, due to the reviews, this is probably one of the best in the series, which means that we're dealing with some really good teenagers, some really good stories, and hopefully some really good hardcore RPG elements. But enough of that, we'll talk about that much later. Let's get into what's inside. I mean, the art on it, that cover art right there, that's, that's beautiful. All right, so my assumptions are right. This slides out pretty well. There we go, ooh, look at that. that, that look at that box. Perfect, and it's sideways too. All right, so we got our main characters or what seems to be our main characters here. Uh, looks like their personas as well are rocking or standing beside them. So it looks like these are our core team. Granted though, anybody that's played a Persona game before, more likely will have at least a one or two additional other characters as kind of like back support or somebody that specializes in some kind of area, whether it be uh, magic, range, physical, or something like that. Granted, it looks, seems like looking at some of the trailers of the game, almost all the characters have a gun of some sort. So I wonder how that's gonna play into the game. Because Persona 3 had it to where people used the gun to release a Persona and they took that out in 4. I don't know if they're going to go back to that idea again, but we'll see. Now, it seems like the rest of it opens up and so there's a little flap here. has a little handle there. So let's go ahead and pull it back. Ooh. Now, I had to get this just solely based on art book. I love getting art books for these kind of games. Granted, sometimes though I don't always do it because the price or the listing of content is never worth it to me, but Persona is always worth it to me because as long as they release an art book and a soundtrack, I'm with it. Because the art people, and this looks like this is our art book here, is amazing. Look at that. Already, I, I haven't even flipped this thing open yet and just that cover right there. I want to take a picture of this and put this on my desktop already. Let's see if we can open it up a little bit. I'm not going to show you everything in the book, but at least give you a little sample of what you can find in here. And already I can tell. I love the new book smell sometimes. Inking is good. And like, that's one thing I like about it too. They give you not only just the black and white inking, the sketch art inking, but they give you the color ink as well too. Kind of how they were like figuring out like, okay, what's the color scheme you want to be? And sometimes like, yeah, this is like stuff we're going to probably see in the game. And sometimes we get lucky in the stuff that, you know, they, they had concepts of and they didn't give it the go ahead or it didn't make it the final cut. So I'm wondering, like this here, that looks really, really cool. I wonder if that's going to be in the game. And then this character, oh, like she's got like a little UFO slash jet radio kind of style going with her. Beautiful art, beautiful art. All right, I'm not, I'm not gonna show you guys everything. Oh, I'll show you the back part there. That, that looks cool too. Let's move on. All right, what? What, okay, so, this is the cover art for the soundtrack. And if anybody has played a Persona game before, you can totally see that this is usually the the style of the character that's the caretaker or alongside the caretaker Igor. So it looks like it's not gonna be the same chick anymore. Usually I think in every persona she's changed or it's been somebody different. So now it's not only one, but it looks like it's possibly two. And they seem to be petite little cute little girls in the little cute little outfits with eye patches. So adorable, but the soundtrack uh, let's flip it over here. It looks like we have about close to 20 tracks going on there. That's a picture of your boy Igor. Looking all stylish with his big ass nose. Ah, oh, this is so nice. All right. Got a steel bookcase. It looks like it's the same 
as everybody else's. I, I was under the assumption that it might be a little different. Ooh, we gotta get it out that glare. Hopefully we get push a little closer so you guys can see it. So I think it's the same. I thought it was gonna be different or it was gonna be a different type of art to it, but I think it's about the same as everybody else's. Which is fine, which is fine. It doesn't hurt, doesn't hurt my feeling at all, because like I said, not every game comes with a steel box. I like, like King of Fighters impressed me with theirs, because they actually did it, and it wasn't no extra money or no kind of special thing with it. It was just, I guess, um, people who pre-ordered it will get it. Um, Valkyria Chronicles did the same thing as well, so. Like I say, a lot of your RPG slash like foreign developers are showing you a lot of love these steel bookcases because they feel so nice and they're very, very durable. Like, I ain't gotta worry about my game doing all that. All right, moving on. That's cute. Like, I don't even know anything about this character yet and already I feel like I'm gonna like this character. And like, he's just so cute in a way that he's already promotable. He's, he's already got a plushie. That's cute. Like, I can see backpacks of Japanese girls walking around with this character already. Like, this is how cute this character is. Hopefully in the game, it's even cuter. That's really cool, that's a bonus, that's a plus. Um, I'm not into plushies, so Game Rebecca probably already have her name all written all over it. And she don't even play the games like that. And then, I did the finale here we got. And this one, I'm gonna take out the plastic so that way we get a full view of it. I was really interested in this. Granted, I'm a bigger guy. If you guys haven't seen my picture or seen me in the videos where I'm a bigger guy, so I know this is not something I'd be able to rock. But I was kind of looking forward to this kind of thing. It's, a, it's like a little side bag on the outside, or at least what we're seeing right here, because that's where the straps are at. It's got the little signia of basically where your character seems to be going to school, which is and excuse me, I mispronounced this bot bad, but Shujin, Shujin? I can't tell if that's an I or an L. The stitch job on this one part doesn't seem that great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it's, that's an I, and that says Shujin. Let's see what's inside. There, ooh, see, now this, see, they should've did some more exterior with this. Cause like, now that's what I think of when I like, Think of like a school kind of thing, like the plaid. Like you see it on the uniforms, and you see a little flavor of that kind of stuff on a uniform. Like if they could have put this like probably like around the edging here or something like that, this would have gave us a lot more flavor. Granted, I'm not gonna be mad though. It's bag. I can always use bags. Granted, I'm probably not gonna rock this personally, but I mean, shoot, I could find a use for it somewhere. But that was it inside of it. We got the game. He pops up there. We got the plushie. We've got the soundtrack. We've got the art book. Like, to me, like I said, this is always a win. And for this amount, it was about $85, $89 with tax probably. That's worth it just for these two for me most of the time. So to have the plushie, the case, and then to have a, a, a pretty decent book bag. So I'll wrap it up. It's a win. I, I say it's a win in my book. Not to mention too, again, I don't want to delve too much into it, but this game got rated a 9.7. That's pretty darn good for JRPGs. Not to mention too, video games have been on a roll. So I know I'm gonna love this one. And plus who they, like I said, the flavor text is, this is the best of the series. Which means three was phenomenal. Four took it up a notch. Uh, one and two wasn't no slouch either, you know. They're, they're harder to play nowadays because of the age and, you know, how far technology has gone and it's hard for people to go back to. But, I mean, this is a series I expect to go for at least, at least maybe two more. Even if they end up being bad. So having this kind of stuff, this is history, people. This is history. So if you have not pre-ordered, if you have not gotten this, it might be worth it to go out there and try to hunt around and see who has actual one of these left over. Or even then, how to get your hands on it. I'm pretty sure there's a way to do it on Amazon. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a way to get out there still in GameStops if you talk to them or call around and see who has extras or ones that didn't get picked up. But this is a game to grab and this is a box worth having. Especially if you see, like I said, if, if, if 
if you're into these two things, like I am, it's worth it. And then you get a little extra. But uh, this has been Gamer Land showing you Persona 5. Take your heart edition, collector's edition of Persona 5. Uh, the four gamers, as always, we would love for you guys to like and comment. Let us know what you like. If you got your copy, you know, maybe you got something extra. I don't know. Maybe maybe I got shorthanded or something, you know. I don't know. I just know I'm happy. I'm happy with what I got right here. Um, always, too, hit that bell button for notification for all our videos. We got tons of more content coming up for you guys. But anyway, this is Gamer Lynn. I'm signing off. You guys have a good night. See you in the next video.